Hello there YouTube Shorts, Minifigure Jez just asked an amazing question about the similarity of Brick Out to Bricklink and whether you can part out your sets and even just minifigure series in Brick Out and you can if you take a look at the screen you can see I've got the 1992 Batman Polybag back up, there is a button that does read part out it takes you through to this page, you can select your collection or wish list. if you select collection you can choose all the other things such as new, use and it's the same with the wish list. Once you select the wish list that you want to add it to or just select a wish list to create a new one, you can select the condition. We'll go with any for the sake of this video and then you can display them based on name, colour, name then colour. So we'll go with the regular one and as you can see all the pieces here you can remove them, change the specific pieces, add in maximum prices, the exact same as Bricklink and then you go through to verify, submit it and it gives you this pop up to make sure you have completed everything and there you go, your wish list is created. Now a quick part two to the previous short that I have just put up because there's not enough time in these shorts to say everything I want to so I'll probably also make this into a video once you have created your wish list, just at the top, you can see there is the wish list button. To view all your wish lists, you've got newest wish list created by other people and the most popular ones if you want to create some other people's mocks, which is very nice and not a feature, I think, that is on Bricklink. Unless, again, I just don't know, but you go into your wish list. In fact, you don't even have to go into your wish list. You can have a few different tools on your side there. You look at the wish list, there's a few minifigures that I have been looking at and comparing to their prices on Bricklink. But we'll buy the wish list because we want not just the poly bag but also the minifigures. And it gives us all the stores. For me, in the United Kingdom, that is a preset that I have set up. A lot nicer than Bricklink, I don't have to change it every time. And you can just buy any of the lots that you need. Now I think I'll definitely make this into a short video because we're on to the third short here. And what I haven't mentioned is of course, you've got all the items here, but what if you want to buy a whole wish list out through different stores? Well, once you click on one store that you found that you like the look of, it then gets rid of them items from the wish list, they're still in the wish list, but on your list of items that you need, it gets rid of them and only searches for the remaining items, which is lovely because on Bricklink, if you add them to cart, you can get them to view all your items still. And again, it's not necessarily easier than Bricklink, it's just something that is much easier to use if you're looking for a specific part that Bricklink no longer caters for. So I know this has only been a short video. This is purely just to show off the features of Brick Out that are the same as Bricklink. And that is on top of today's video. So be sure to check that out. Make sure you are subscribed before clicking off this video. And as always, may the bricks be with you.